the Bollinger Bands. So the Bollinger Bands, they were actually developed by John Bollinger, thus the name, in the 1980s. He's actually still active on Twitter. This is what the Bollinger Bands look like. So what you'll do is you'll go to your, and I use Coinigy, you know, you can just set up a free account, just put your email in or create a new email. Uh, I recommend Coinigy. Trading View works too. You just go into your indicators, Bollinger Bands. So when you first turn the Bollinger Bands on, you want to go to Settings. Uh, you want to change the upper and lower. Maybe go with a light blue, I guess. In the middle, we could do white. Okay. And so you got your, these are the Bollinger Bands. So it's made up of these outer bands. There's two outer bands. And then this is the uh, 20 simple moving average. This is the one hour chart you can see here. So each one of these candles is one hour. So that means this is the 20 and, and you can see it's in settings when you go to inputs, the length. So this will be 20. And since this is an hourly chart, it's the 20 hour simple moving average. Okay. So that's your line in the middle, outer bands, and then the simple moving average runs in the middle. Many traders believe the closer the prices move to the upper band, the more overbought the market and the closer the prices move to the lower band, the more oversold. What you'll find is when you start to go outside of these bands, it'll pop back in. Okay. So it's similar to an RSI where when it starts to get outside the top of the band, it's overbought and it'll pop back in. It will correct and pull back. When it starts to get outside of the lower side of the band, it's oversold and it'll pop right back in. So for example, here you get a huge run up and then it kind of pops back in. So people use, and this is called the squeeze. You see how these bands get really tight. They get really tight when there's, hardly any volatility in here, they get really tight. And that basically means you're looking for a pop where you'll get a big breakout. Now you don't know if it's gonna be a breakout to the downside or the upside. This is not an indicator you use by itself. The squeeze is a central concept of the Bollinger Bands. When the bands come together, constricting the moving average, it's called a squeeze. This signals a period of low volatility and is considered by traders to be a potential sign of future increased volatility and possible trading opportunities. So again, these bands give no indication when the change may take place or which direction the price could move. So you have to use RSI, possibly MACD. So just to look at what that would look like. So again, you go to indicators, you turn your RSI on, relative strength index down at the bottom. Again, the colors aren't very good, so we'll change it to a yellow, something we could see easy on the black. I like to set it at 80 and 20. When this gets outside of the band, it corresponds with the RSI being overbought. So just like once the RSI is overbought, it'll snap back. Same thing up here with the Bollinger Bands, it'll snap back in. So now what this doesn't show down in the RSI is how basically the volatility is gone, which as this squeeze is tighter and tighter, it's kind of like a, a spring. It gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, and it's gonna explode. You don't know if it's gonna go up or down though, okay? So you got to use RSI, MACD. There's a lot of other things that go in with it. You, you really want to have about three indicators that show the same thing. You know, technical analysis is like a mystery. You know, you're going to get different clues from all these tools. And so maybe you get something off Bollinger Bands, maybe you don't. So here's a recent Bitcoin one hour chart. Again, you see how it breaks out of this upper band. It's going to snap back in. So it'll kind of give you an indication that, you know, possibly you're going to get overextended out here down here you know possibly this is a a little bit of a buy signal uh where it hits the bottom band and then you know it's going to snap back closer to the simple moving average and then sometimes this simple moving average which is a 20 you can see how these candles are bouncing back and forth bouncing back and forth and it's actually finding support on that simple moving average you'll you'll notice when it does break above it so here it was stuck below the simple moving average and then it had to get a big push a big break higher breakouts approximately 90 percent of the price action occurs between the two bands any breakout above or below the bands is a major event this is not a standalone system. You have to use it with two or three other non-correlated indicators that provide more direct market signals. MACD, like we talked about, RSI, Relative Strength Index. Bollinger Bands are designed to discover opportunities that give investors a higher probability of success. 
none of these are going to tell you what to do. They're going to give you a ton of clues as what could happen. And this is just another tool you need to use in your arsenal. Take a look real quick at ADA. And we'll put this one on the daily. ADA's chart actually looks um, pretty good down here. I don't think it could go a whole lot lower. So I don't really like the volume on very much. So again, we're going to turn our Bollinger Bands on. You see how we started right here. It started to basically hug the side of the Bollinger Band. So you're looking for it to move back inside. Uh, and then you see here how it tightened, tightened up. And then right after that, you get a big break. It tightened up right here, and then you get a break. Again, you don't know which way it's coming. Here it hit, hits the outer band and then moves lower. This is way back here in July, and you see like you got the price action moving up here. It hits that band, and it's going to snap back lower. And it's going to go to the other band, and it's going to snap back. And this time, it hit that simple moving average in the middle and came back down. Use this in conjunction with other tools. You can see right here where it came down, hit the outside of the Bollinger Band, and then bounced higher. Real simple to use. It'll give you just maybe a little bit of a hint of some changes that are about to come. Really, you want to look for these squeezes. So this is Aon. It had a pretty decent breakout here. Uh, and you, so you'll notice these bands start to get really tight. And once they get really close together, you're going to see a breakout. Now, again, you don't know if it's going, could have easily went south. Okay, so it's not, don't trade on this alone. However, you can see now how it's really overextended. So you can pretty much assume that you're going to get a little bit of a correction. These bands are really far apart. They show that volatility is increased. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I think this will help you. This is another tool. Again, Bollinger Bands.